Welcome to the Progressive Automation's technical how-to video. Today, we will be going over how to use our relay modules to control your linear actuators. We have three relay modules, a 2-channel, a 4-channel, and an 8-channel. They all act the same, the only difference is the number of channels. These relay modules are used when you have a 5 voltage control circuit that needs to interface with a higher voltage circuit. For example, an Arduino controlling a 12 volt linear actuator. We'll be doing our explanation using the 4 channel relay. Each relay module is a single pole double throw switch. They have a common connection in the middle, a normally open connection on the left, and a normally closed connection on the right. When the relay is activated, the connection switches from being between common and normally closed to common and normally open. These are the header pins that control the relay. On one side we have the ground pin, then the pins to activate the relays, and then the VCC pin. This side of the board needs 5 volts on the VCC pin. Remember to connect the ground here to the ground to the rest of your control circuit. When you choose a 5 volt supply, you need to be mindful of how much power it can provide. These relays are powered by a small electromagnet that pulls about 70 milliamps. If you're using the big relay board with 8 channels, and all of the channels are active at once, that'll be pulling over half an amp. You need to ensure that your 5 volt supply can handle this much power. Most 5 volt supplies from microcontrollers cannot. To activate the relay, the corresponding pin must be pulled low. If we touch one of the pins wire to the ground, you can hear the relay clicking on and off. Triggering the relay more than once every 2 seconds will shorten the life of the relay board. Here is an example showing the relay board controlling an actuator. We have an Arduino connected on the input side, and then the actuators connected to the output side along with a power supply. We're only using two channels on this relay board, and only one of them will be active at a time, so the 5 volt supply on the Arduino will be able to provide enough power. If we push one button, the actuator will extend, and then pushing the other button, the actuator will retract. Check the description down below for a more detailed link to the instructions and more project ideas with these relay boards. This has been our technical how-to video of our relay modules. You can find these products and more at our website, www.progressiveautomations.com. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800-676-6123 or email us at info at progressiveautomations.com. Links to everything shown in this video are in the description down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see our new videos as soon as they are released. Stay tuned for more videos in the coming weeks. This has been a Progressive Automation's technical how-to video. See you next time.